Hello everyone, welcome to Myth of Medusa. This was made for Global Game Jam by the same people behind Mirror Moon EP, and they also had help from other people at the Game Jam to make it. It's totally free, I'll have a link in the description to where you can check it out for yourself. You're probably wondering what it's about. Well, you're about to find out. Let's go. In an enchanted winter forest, you can't recall who you are. Wandering in the fog, you'll meet a blind entity. She will help you out of the forest only when you will reveal yourself. And every time, you'll be a different creature. Okay, so here we go. I've already played through this once, but like it says, you're a different creature each time, so it's gonna be different. And there's the entity. Are you lost? Yes, I am. Goodbye. I love the ambience of this place. The fog, the cold. It just looks so cool. Literally and figuratively speaking, I suppose. Since it is, since it is obviously very cold. Okay, so I've spawned in multiple times and I've noticed that the type of creature you are affects your movement. So the aim of the game is to understand who you are, or what you are. And you can do that by interacting with different objects that you'll find around this forest. But it looks like you also get some clues from how you move. So, okay, I move pretty quickly. Ooh, there's something to interact with. I'll do that in a second. Yeah, I move pretty quickly, and when I move, there's like a whistling noise. Kind of hard to hear sometimes. But there's no footstep sounds or anything like that. And it seems like I'm gliding. Like, between the wind sound when I move, the fact that I move fast, and, and all of that, it seems like I'm gliding. See, when I first played, I had like normal sort of footstep sounds. And I think I was a human. So I think I'm something else this time. Some sort of gliding entity. Anyway, what's this? Okay, a bunch of leaves. Let's see what happens. Oh. Okay. Made... Uh, art out of it? Or some sort of a ritual thing? Hmm. I made something out of a pile of leaves. Let's look for more. Yeah, I move really fast. What about how I jump? Okay, pretty normal jump. I could help you. Yeah, I really love the ambience of this forest. The whistle of the wind. And there's something so cool about how the trees look when you look up. I mean, this looks pretty cool here, just looking out like this, but for some reason when I look up, I, I love how that looks. Especially when you move like this. This just looks so cool to me, I don't know why. But I really like how it looks. Is it just me? Because that looks really cool to me. Okay, well, I hit objects. I don't float through them, so I guess that's something. I suppose I'm not a ghost. Let's find more objects. But me? I am blind. Oh, there's an object over there. Yeah, so the entity is blind. It's funny. The blind entity is going to help me to discover who I am, even though it can't see me. And I can see, but I don't know who I am. Okay, what is this? Looks like it's a creature of some sort. Is that a rabbit? It's hard to tell. Looks frozen and dead, though. Whoa. I, I think I brought it back to life. bunch of wooden blocks. Okay, I created a cube. Hmm. 
Who are you? I wish I knew. A wine glass. I drank it. Ooh, a harp. Okay, I can make music. I really do love the pixely look. Something about it just looks really cool. Back to staring at the trees. <sighs> okay, so now it's gonna quiz me a bit. Help me understand. And does your touch hurt? Not that I know of. No, no, I mean, I brought the... rabbit back to life, so no. Can you create? Yeah, I made something out of the leaves and I made something out of the wooden blocks. Are you a playful being? Hmm. Hmm, playful. Would you say constructing um, a cube out of wooden blocks is being playful? I'm gonna say yes. Is your spirit free? I don't know what that means. Yes? Do you listen to the voice of reason? Uh... I... I have no idea. Um... Hmm... Mm, no? Is your spirit rogue? How would I tell? Yes? I think that might mean I got some of them wrong. Let's look for more. More blocks? Mm hmm. Are you just? I don't think I've ever made a judgment to really be able to tell, have I? Hold on, are there any, ob any objects right around here? Hmm. Sure. the leaves again. Flowers. Oh. I made them grow. Yeah, so my touch is definitely not harmful. Like, I made more flowers. Are you dead? How would I know? I drank, I mean, I drank wine. And I've brought things back from the dead. Or made them grow more. I do seem to be a spirit of some sort. Given the way I kind of like float around. Um, I'm gonna say yes. I don't know, does being able to drink wine mean that I'm mean that I'm not dead? I suppose that would mean that I'm not dead, but I do seem to be supernatural. Can you walk? Hmm. No, I I float. Again, I drank it. Does your touch hurt? Nope. Does your magic move inanimate things? Um. I'm pretty sure I just brought the rabbit back to life. So I don't think that would count. I moved the blocks, but is that my magic moving them? Or did I just use my hands? Do I even have hands? I don't even know. Yes? Do you feel restless? Yes? Most of these questions I don't really know how to answer. I need more things to find. More objects to test. 
if there are any more. Is your spirit free? I still don't know how to answer that. No? I think I'm just getting them wrong. These questions. It's the blocks again. Mm -hmm. Do you listen to your instincts? I, once again, I don't know how to answer that. Sure. Is your spirit rogue? No? Okay, I think I got it right. You have discovered your true self. You are right. You are a nymph, and you are now free. Alright, I discovered myself through bumbling through the options and getting it wrong. Go towards the light. And there you go, if you go through it again, it, you spawn as a different creature. So I think it's a pretty cool game. Let me um let me start another life here. Cause I want to show something. Let's see if this is gonna work. Yeah, perfect. Okay, this is perfect. So I think like the only thing I find strange about this game is that I don't really see much of a connection between some of the options and the objects you interact with and stuff like that. Like, is your spirit rogue? Or is your spirit free or something like that? And do you listen to your instincts? Like, I don't really know how to answer those questions based on what I've done and what I've seen in the world. So I don't quite get some of those. The connection between the questions and... Like, I don't really get the... I mean, you're trying to be kind of like a detective, right? Look at what you're doing, look at how you move, and all of that, and discover who you are, but... It's kind of hard to do that. But I still think it's a really cool game. I love the atmosphere. Uh, the mystery of it. Of spawning as a, a random creature, not knowing who you are, and having to interact with things to try to deduce it. I think it's really cool. And I just, I love this forest. It looks freaking beautiful. Gorgeous. And the sound of the wind and the snow and all of that. I love it. And something really cool that I only discovered once I went back into the game is how each time you spawn as a different creature, it doesn't just affect how you interact with objects. It also affects how you move. So notice before, I was... I was, I was some sort of... It seemed like a floating entity. Right? I made a wind noise when I moved. And I moved pretty fast and just straight. However, look at this. Now that I've spawned in as a different creature, watch what happens when I just go forwards. Notice something? Okay, I'm really close to the ground compared to how I was before. And I'm moving back and forth and making a rustling noise. I think I'm some sort of a snake-like creature. Look at it. It's like I'm slithering back and forth. My view just moves left and right and left and right. Look at that. I can feel, I feel like I'm a snake of some sort or when I'm moving. It's so cool. I'm low to the ground and I'm slithering back and forth. I mean, how cool is that? A, a different movement system, depending on what kind of a creature you are. I think that's really cool. They can hear me rustling around in the snow whereas before I was floating. In fact, you know what? I actually want to play this snake creature. This serpent or whatever it is, actually. And let's figure out exactly what I am. Whoa. Okay, I guess I don't like wine. Okay, leaves. Hmm. Not very creative. <laughs> I just kind of smother them about. All right, here's the rabbit. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely a snake, aren't I? Of some sort. Ate the rabbit, smothered about the leaves, didn't drink the wine. Yes, I'm lost. Can I jump? Oh, that's weird, I actually still can jump. Hmm. 
didn't expect to be able to jump. But I love the movement. I feel like a freaking snake. I feel like a snake. It actually kind of makes me want a game where you play as a snake, actually. To slither back, slither back and forth. It feels really good. If only... Oh man, would be really cool is if I could look behind me. Like... Like, I'm imagining holding down the alt key like you do in the Arma games, where it allows you to move your head while you still move in the same direction, and look behind and see my body slithering in the snow, leaving it track. That would be so cool. Okay, I'm kind of obsessed now with the idea of playing as a snake. Does anyone know any games where you play as a snake? In, like, in first person, like this? Where you can actually feel the movement of, of a snake? Blocks. Yeah, I'm not a creative. I am not a creative entity. I just bash things apart. I wonder what I'm going to do with the uh, the harp. Probably play the worst music imaginable. Should be one or two items left, right? What is left? There's the harp, yeah. And then the flowers? Have I found the flowers yet? Trampled. Okay, here we go. Are you melancholic? Hmm. I don't know. No? Can you re resist averseness? See, there's another one of those questions. I don't understand how to answer that. Resist averseness. As in, I'm averse to something and I'm resisting my avoidance of it? Like, what? Yes. Do you listen to the voice of reason? I still don't understand that. Sure. weird. I've collected all these clues, but I didn't know how to answer a single one of those questions. Some of them I could answer, like, are you creative? It would be a no. I still need that harp, too. Is your spirit rogue? I'm not sure how literal to take that. As in, like, am I a rogue? Would the fact that I destroy stuff when I come across it count as me being rogue? Yes? Are you just? <laughs> no. Are you dead? No. Are you a beast of the forest? Definitely. Do you crouch and hunt? Uh, do snakes crouch? Could you could you possibly describe describe snakes as crouching? Yes. Maybe. Are you delicate? Hmm. No. Does your magic move inanimate things? No. Are you tame? No. Can you resist averseness? I said yes before. I guess I'll say no this time. Yeah, unfortunately some of these questions just don't make any sense to me.
resist averseness? That is such a weird question. Do you listen to your instincts? Yes. You, dis you have discovered your true self. You are right. You are a wolf, and you are now free. Oh, I'm not a snake. I'm a wolf. Okay, well. I, I seriously feel like a snake. I mean, I don't know any wolf that slithers back and forth. That is a strangely snake-like wolf. Oh well, in my mind I was playing a, a snake of some sort. It certainly felt like one. I am seriously now kind of obsessed with the idea of playing a, a first-person snake simulator of some sort. Ah, the possibilities. Hmm. Wouldn't be too hard to do the movement, too. Just kind of a gentle bob back and forth and just have it really low to the ground like it was in this game. Some nice slithering noises. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, I think it's a really cool game. Don't see some of the connections between the questions and the clues you pick up. I didn't understand a lot of them. Which was a little bit frustrating. Since the main point of the game is to collect the clues and, it's, and figure out who you are, but it's kind of hard to do that. But it's pretty easy to get through it regardless. So it doesn't become majorly frustrating in any way. And I just really like the atmosphere, the, just the sound, the, the different movements. You know, you can kind of walk like a, a human being, you can be some sort of a snake wolf thing. <laughs> A wolf that moves like a snake. You can be some sort of a f floating entity, I guess. And... What if there's others? Let's go back in and see what we get. I'm not gonna play through again, but I want to see the different movements. Okay, yeah, see... Now I move super, super fast. Look at this. Crazy fast. So there's at least, let's see, one... So there's at least four different movement types. Like, there's just a standard... The first time I played, I think I was a soldier. Which I guess would be a human being. And I just moved like a normal human being. Like, normal speed. Uh, crunchy footstep sounds, sort of thing. Then there's the wolf. Where I was low to the ground. And then there was the floating entity. Which, I think, behaved just like this entity, but it was much slower. And then there's this. So there's at least four movement sets. Movement types. Ooh. I made a tower. Not very orderly, but I did make a tower. So yeah, this is a really cool game. I like it. And once again... Those trees. Okay, they don't look too good when you're moving super fast. Let's get a different... Different uh, movement type. Nope, that's the same one. That's also the same one. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hmm. I th you know what? I think this is the fifth movement type. I don't think this is the soldier. It's, it's too back and forth. It f feels like I'm heavy. The way I'm... I'm moderately tall. No, maybe about human height. Maybe a little bit shorter. Actually, probably shorter. But yeah, I move back and forth, like really heavy. And... The weird thing is, I almost seem to move backwards faster than I move forwards. Weird. Oh, brought it back to life. But anyway, yeah. I really like the atmosphere and I freaking love the look of the forest. So I'm actually going to end the video while moving forwards and looking up at the trees because they look beautiful. So enjoy the view and I hope you've enjoyed my playthrough of Myth of Medusa. Thank you for watching.